Thank you very much for asking us to present our data today. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our poster presentation, uh, which focused in on using the uh, Buellman point of care device uh, for fecal calprotectin and infliximab uh, concentrations. Um, so our study was taking patients that had a loss of response um, on infliximab and assessing how the point of care device would function in this setting. Um, so we had patients that were losing response, uh, contact the IBD nurse in our clinic, and they came in with a sample of their stool. And uh, what they did was um, we were able to get the results back within an hour. Um, so we had their fecal calprotectin results and their infliximab uh, concentrations um, within an hour. And so we were able to make treatment decisions based on those levels, which I thought was very helpful. And so what we found was that in about 50% of patients, they actually had a low um, trough level of infliximab and a high fecal calprotectin, indicating that they had active disease. Um, and in these patients, we were able to dose optimize them, and the majority of them did well after about 12 weeks uh, after the dose optimization. Uh, what was most interesting, I found, was that 30% of the patients uh, actually had a normal fecal calprotectin and a normal trough level, um, indicating that they had uh, adequate disease control, that they had no active inflammation, um, and those patients ended up doing uh, better on their own without any change in management after about 12 weeks when they were reassessed. This perhaps indicates that they likely had some degree of uh, irritable bowel syndrome as opposed to active inflammatory bowel disease. The remaining 20% of patients had high infliximab trough levels and uh, high fecal calprotectin, meaning that they had active disease despite optimal uh, trough concentrations, and those patients uh, were switched to another class of medications uh, and the majority of those patients ended up doing better on a different class of medications. So overall what we found was that uh, using the point of care device we were able to optimize treatment for our patients. Um, we were able to dose optimize in the correct uh, conditions. So perhaps the, the most interesting part of the study was this 30% of patients that had a normal fecal calprotectin and a normal trough level uh, indicating that they had uh, likely irritable bowel syndrome and would not benefit for dose optimization. So I think using the strategy of uh, the point of cure device will actually be a cost effective um, solution because you're avoiding a lot of patients that uh, may potentially be dose optimized. Thank you very much.